Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. Very excited about the comeback of Purple Kiss. Although, I am a little bit surprised by the fact that I didn't even realize that this comeback was happening up until the video yesterday popped up when the comeback actually occurred. Um, I also kind of like, it's been over 24 hours since the release of this video. The views are not exactly what I was hoping for it to be. Um, I'm not sure if that's kind of like a promotional side of things or whatever is happening because, you know, I've always enjoyed Purple Kiss. We have reacted to them on more than a couple of occasions and I really, really enjoyed them. They're like one of the uh, best groups that RBW uh, has and I always uh, enjoyed them a lot. There, there's a ton of talent. This concept, uh, I think from what I've read about this one is that it's much more lovely or lively or positive i guess than some other com comebacks that we've checked out from purple kiss so this may not be as dark as some some of their other songs and you know what i'm very very excited about it i'm pretty sure that the last comeback we've checked out by purple kiss was also kind of a happy song uh in contrast with some of their other stuff like mem for example uh and you know uh i believe uh sweet juice if i'm not there was like the the music video that had a whole bunch of references to like the shining and whatnot and a whole bunch of like horror references if i'm not mistaken so um very excited about it so without further ado let's get into b b b by purple kiss oh there's no english captions even what the oh damn you know, I get change your life. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, the dates. So, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be the 15th of March 21, which is probably their debut date, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take that. You know, I get change your life. Yeah, you can. Ooh. Ooh. Pleasure's all mine. Ooh. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, Swan, Jesus Christ. That voice. Also, bad be bad bitch kind of a thing. This pre chorus sounds incredible. The harmonies, the melody. Oh. 
very cool. Damn. That was really, really cool. But okay, so they they're they're clearly uh expressing like the, the bad B side of them. They have like the playground, like the world as their playground. They're entering that ele that uh, train, not elevator, you dumbass. Um, as there's the date of their debut, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, as the train takes them for a ride, you know, since their debut and where they are now. Um, I love the fact that uh, there's like towards the end of the music video, they leave and we see the doors. We see like the the lock on the fence, uh, maybe kind of like a bond being unbreakable or something among those lines. The playgrounds basically like the, their world to play around with. They they keep on going higher and higher, which I thought was also pretty cool, was they throw in the ball, and then with with, with Swan, I believe, uh, kind of like hitting the bullseye on that ball, and then the next shot is the explosion of the ball behind. That was really, really cool. Um, there's also, like, visuals of the girls being wounded uh, as far as, like, being, you know, kind of like a, a bad bitch kinda who doesn't care who doesn't take no shit from anyone and that may lead to like being in some fights and scuffles and kind of like the, the the journey that is kind of like being on this road with purple kiss like the hits and the bruising that we went through is all kind of like metaphorical i'm guessing which i thought was also really really cool the last dance with like the the giant bows on their black outfits was really really cool there's like a move the second they do the the chorus with those outfits is it almost looked like a bit of a shuffle which i was kind of like nostalgic a little bit uh it's a lot of fun the song itself is so much freaking fun and the concept itself is very different from a lot of the things that i've seen from them like uh i i want to say that there wasn't much of like mysticism to this one uh, there wasn't too much of a horror theme, but there is a, a side of them kind of like expressing like, you know, the bad B side, which I thought was uh, was pretty cool. And like literally the basketball being above the skies, which is what Purple Kiss is. And it's a slam dunk and whatnot. I thought it was pretty cool symbolism. Um, the guns being glittery. It's like uh, painting, you know, the, this world with our colors. Uh, but the black is still very, very prominent in terms of like their darker concept potentially or like the the dark that they have in, in them in terms of like some of the stuff that we've seen from Purple Kiss, The Edge, for example, which the verse has definitely had. Uh, so I really, we also see like a punching bag in that playground. I really, really enjoyed this. The song itself, the chorus is incredibly catchy. Um and the pre-chorus might be like my favorite part of the song, honestly. And I, I, I just love the delivery. I love the vocal melodies in that in that uh, pre-chorus. Um, so in the beginning, they slice the chain, so it seemed like. But then they fix the chain. They literally fixed it with with tape. So maybe that's kind of like a, a metaphor to like the, the 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 relationship and whatnot, and, and it being kind of like unbreakable and their bond throughout those years of them being together. So, because if it's March fifteenth, twenty one was their de I think that's their debut date. So we're literally just celebrated their third anniversary, basically. So uh, unless my math is incorrect, but uh, which could very well because i'm i'm terrible with math one plus one equals three what no two of course two anyway sorry i'm, I'm being an idiot uh please do not take it seriously not a psycho i'm sorry anyway uh the song itself was a lot of fun i love the visuals I, the concept is very refreshing for them uh and i just love seeing those black outfits honestly Especially in the playground, it's just so freaking cool. And I love the train aesthetic uh, and them kind of like being on the train and having fun and all that kind of stuff. I feel like this is a pretty cool song of like their whole relationship and them kind of like celebrating their time together and still being together. So that's how I'll take it at the very least. Let me know 
your thoughts because obviously the captions are not available so i can only guess based on some of the 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 visuals but uh yeah all in all this was a lot of fun it's a very catchy chorus but the pre-chorus is what really did it for me honestly like it's so mesmerizing especially when you hear swan's um delivery and her intention in, in it in her english it's just like she should narrate a book or something like she has that kind of a haunting billy eilish as we talked about in the past kind of voice but uh yeah it's beautiful love this pre-chorus a lot and the song is like super catchy and kind of like poppy uh really enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts and uh, if you enjoyed this reaction make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you all in the next one be well and safe wherever you are see ya